The lesson topic for this video is factoring using quadratic form. Okay, so what you see in front of you is x to the fourth plus x squared minus 12. Now this is different from what we have been doing with factoring quadratics. But what I'm going to show you is that it's pretty much uh, the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to x squared plus x minus 12. So notice I'm just looking at this x to the fourth. I'm just going to look at it as x squared. In this x squared, I'm going to look at it as x for just a minute. When I do that, I realize I've got a quadratic with a, a 1 in for a, and if I have that, I can just um, put my two sets of parentheses down and factor this quadratic. So negative 12 is my uh, term right here. Now, I'm not using magic number. I'm using that first method of factoring we talked about in class. So negative 12 is negative 1 times 12 or negative 2 times 6, or negative 3 times 4. And we find out that this positive x right here can be reached by using these two terms here. Negative 3 and 4 add up to 1, which is what this is, 1x. So we end up putting an x times x here, because x times x is x squared. And then we put a minus 3 and a plus 4 in the parentheses because of this minus 3 and this plus 4. So again, not magic number, but just um, factoring uh, the first way we learned. So we have x minus 3, x plus 4. But we need to come back and think about how we need x to the fourth and x squared here. Well, if you think about it for a minute, what if I put a squared right here and right here? What would happen? Well, what would happen is if I FOIL this, I would get x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth, which is this. And then I do outside, which is 4x squared. And then inside, which is negative 3x squared. And what's 4x squared plus negative 3x squared? Well, that's 1x squared. And then we multiply the last terms, which is negative 12, which we have here. So that means we have our answer. We have our answer over here for factoring x to the fourth plus x squared minus 12, it will be x squared minus 3, x squared plus 4. The only time that this quadratic form works is if the exponent on your first term um, is twice as large, the exponent is twice as large as the exponent in your middle term. So 4 is twice as big as 2. So this will work. Um, if I had x to the 8th plus x to the 4th minus 12, this would also work. But if I had x to the 8th plus x to the, let's say, 5th minus 12, this will not work because 5 is not, or I should say 8 is not twice as big as 5. Okay, so these have to be, um, this has to be a double of this exponent here. Let's try a couple more examples. Okay, so here's another quadratic form. Okay, so 5x to the fourth minus 9x squared plus 4. We found out we can factor this the same way that we factor a regular quadratic. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to first look for a GCF. And we don't have a GCF here because 5, negative 9, and 4 are not all divisible by the same number. And we do not have an x in every term to factor out. So that means the next step, as always, for magic number is to circle our first and last terms, a and c, and multiply them and get that magic number or magic term off to the side. So 20x to the fourth. Okay? So this is the reason I asked you to include this x to the fourth, or when we were doing quadratics, x to the second power out here, because this is going to help us remember that when we factor quadratic form, we're going to need x squared. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 1 times 20 to get 20. And what do we need with that? Well, normally we would just put an x and an x. But what's x times x? Well, x times x is x squared, but we need x to the fourth. So what we need here is x squared and x squared. Okay? Now what else multiplies together to give me 20? Well, 2 times 10. And again, we need x squared and x squared. And we also have 4 times 5 and x squared 
and x squared. So now we need to look at which of these factors is going to help us add up to negative 9x squared. Well, this is close, right? That's 9x squared when we add them, but we need negative 9x squared. So we remember that we can add a negative in to both of these because negative 4x squared times negative 5x squared will still multiply to give me positive 20x to the fourth. And when I add them, I'm going to get negative 9x to the second. All right, so then back to our magic number work. We're going to put 5x to the fourth, and we're going to put a 4 over here. And we're going to put um, what we found over here as our factors. We're going to put those in, so minus 4x squared minus 5x squared, and I missed that plus there. Okay. So now we use our vertical line to divide up the two sides, and we are going to factor out a GCF. In the left-hand side, we're going to factor out x squared, and we're going to have 5x to the fourth. If we factor out x squared, we're going to be left with 5x to the second. And then minus, if I factor out of this, I factor out the x squared, and I've got a minus 4 left. On the right-hand side, I'm going to factor out what? Well, if you said just a negative, I'm going to factor out a negative or negative 1. That is correct. We're going to factor out negative 1. When we factor out negative 1, we're left with positive 5x squared. And then if I factor out, um, again, a negative 1 out of this, I factor it out as a negative. I need a, whoops, sorry about that. I need a minus right here, minus 4, because a minus or negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. Okay, so now, um, do our parentheses match? Yes, they do. Our parentheses are 5x squared minus 4. So we write that down. And then we write what's left. Well, after I factored out this and this, what do I have left? I have x squared minus 1 left. Oops, x squared minus 1. Okay, so now you might think, hey, we're done. We magic use magic number. We factored this and we're done. The problem with that statement is we're not quite done. Okay, 5x squared minus 4, that's a factor that we cannot factor any further. But if you look at this, x squared minus 1, you should notice that this is a difference of two squares. So we do have one more step. We're going to write 5x squared minus 4. And then we're going to break this x squared minus 1 down into our difference of two squares. So x times x gives us x squared. And then 1 times 1 gives us the 1. And then we need a plus in one and a minus in the other. So this is our final answer to this question. Okay, so let's try this next one. 2x to the 6th plus 13x to the 3rd plus 6. Like I said at the beginning, if this is twice as big as this, we can use this quadratic form type method. So we first look for GCF. There is no GCF. So we're going to go ahead and start our magic number work. That's 2x to the 6th and positive 6. When we multiply them, we get 12x to the 6th. That's our magic term. So 1 times 12 gives me 12, and we need to put x to the third and x to the third. Again, the reason we do that, just make sure you see this, if we multiply these two terms, we would get 1 times 12 is 12, and x to the third times x to the third, which is x to the sixth. We also could have 2 times 6 for 12, which again, we need an x to the third and x to the third, or we could have 3 times 4 with x to the third and x to the third. Now maybe you notice that we had our correct factors right um, looking for 13x to the third. You could have seen that we had it right off the bat, the first set, and you could have just not written these other ones if you noticed that. So we're going to go ahead and separate out the 2x to the sixth and the plus six, and we're going to go ahead and put this in the middle. So plus one x to the third plus 
next to the third. Now we're going to put our little line down the middle here, factor out our GCF. The GCF of this side, if you can notice, is x to the third. And we're going to be left with 2x to the third plus 1. On the right hand side we're going to factor out a 6, so plus 6. When we factor out a 6 we're going to be left with 2x to the third plus 1. Again because 6 factored out of 6 is 1. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Our parentheses do indeed match. That's a good thing. We can go ahead and write our parentheses down. 2x to the third plus 1. And then we have what's left which is x to the third plus 6. There is nothing left to factor in this because there's no difference of squares or anything like that.